I'm John Barker, AKA your grandma's favorite pit master, AKA Terry's least favorite pit master. And today on the Skull and Mortar Kitchen, we're gonna cook a duck and we're gonna do it rotisserie style. Step one, guys, we're gonna take a skewer and we're just gonna kinda poke some holes in the skin. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. Just a little bit to kinda help the salt permeate that fat layer and allow some of the fat uh, moisture to escape as it's kinda breaking down. Now, for our dry brine, we're gonna go with some salt first. We're gonna give it a heavy coating of salt. Guys, don't be bashful. Throw that white powder around like you were George Young in 1980. Now guys, we're gonna amplify that umami and we're gonna do that with some MSG. We're just gonna give it a light coating of MSG. We're not gonna get too crazy. Once you've done that, it's time to flip your duck over and we're gonna do the exact same thing over again. Now you'll notice here too, I did put this on a baking rack because I didn't want this duck sitting in its juices. It was, it was uh, dry brining all night, right? So uh, I put the rack up here to kind of create some separation and allow the air to fully circulate around the duck as well. Now that we got this thing laying on its back, spread eagle like Terry's mom, primed and ready to go, we're gonna throw it back in the refrigerator where we're gonna let it sit overnight. Now we're gonna hop outside and we're gonna get our grill going. You can literally do this with any grill with a uh, rotisserie attachment, right? Get your grill up to 300 degrees, let it heat up, and then we're gonna hop back inside and finish prepping. So we've already wiped off our duck, just the excess salt and MSG, and we're gonna cut these little gimpy parts of the wings off because they're probably just gonna burn anyway, right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut this neck flap off. It really serves no real purpose. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. It's just gonna burn. And then we're gonna clean up here around the orifice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Terry could take a cue and clean up around his orifice because the man smells like crap. And I also don't need the little turkey tail, so we're gonna get rid of it too. It's just cartilage, there's no real meat here. Just chop that bad boy off and go about your business. Now my initial plan was to use the turbo trusser in the rotisserie process, but it's not gonna work. I do have the trusser on here, uh, and I'm gonna hit this with some skull and mortar OG rub. Now I've already sprayed this with spray oil just to help it stick a little bit, and this is really gonna just add a depth of flavor to the skin, right? Uh, you don't have to do the extra rub, uh, but you do have to awkwardly flip your, your duck on the surface uh, so that you look as awkward as possible when you make a video, right? That's the the whole point, to look as professional as possible and, and why not look dumb while you're doing that? So the problem with the trusser here is uh, while it does hold the duck together great, uh, you can't put the uh, skewers on this rotisserie uh, through or around the fixture there at the end. So. I tried every way I could think of and then I got rid of it. So then I thought maybe I could just use the pins uh, there to hold the entire duck, but that's not gonna work either. So now in my final attempt to avoid going to the store and getting butcher's twine, I do go ahead and short skewer this thing together. It feels like it's stuck pretty well between that and the skewers on the rotisserie. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on my grill. Now I got this thing up to 300 degrees inside. Uh, I do have the outside burners only turned on. The inside I do not have turned on because I don't wanna burn the duck, right? Now right here, I turn on the rotisserie quickly to find out that the grates are going to scrape. Like a dummy, I left the grates on there and I didn't even think about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the grates off, throw them off to the side, no big deal, and they'll have plenty of clearance. Now, as you'll notice, my skewer is coming loose already, so this is not gonna turn out well. So now that I got the grates adjusted, I like the way everything's rotating, I'm feeling a little better about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go, but I already know, looking at it, that these skewers are gonna be a problem, and I'm gonna end up having to go to the store and get some butcher twine. Now that we've got that taken care of, uh, our duck is at 140 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and get to work on the glaze. Now it did come with a uh, orange glaze, uh, we're going to go ahead and use that uh, as a base, but I do want to up the orange flavor. So I'm going to throw a little orange preserves in here as well. Because, uh, again, I don't want to go overboard with the sweet, so I'm not going to dump a bunch of extra sugar in here. But I do want a strong sweet and a nice citrus pop. 
Now that our glaze is ready, this duck is really starting to look premium. It's got some great color. You can literally just see the juices dripping, man. I cannot wait to get a bite of this. But again, we got a glaze. So we're just gonna brush that on. The rotisserie makes it really easy. Uh, and we wanna give that a chance to, to set and then we're gonna keep layering that glaze on there. But again, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna do this too soon and you don't wanna do it over direct heat because you don't wanna burn your glaze. Now I did do two rotations of glaze on here before it hit our internal temperature of 185 degrees, which is what I was looking for. Uh, but I didn't like the way the skin felt. I did feel like it was a little soft, so I decided to go ahead and hit it with this torch. Guys, our duck is finally done. You saw we did it on the Monument Grill with the rotisserie attachment. It took about two to two and a half hours to cook it. We tried to keep it as close to a 300 degree ambient temperature as possible. We hit it with a little bit of that skull and mortar OG rub. We glazed it with the orange glaze that we made out of the glaze that came with the duck. And we added some apricot preserves into it to really make it pop. And we threw a little bit of that extra spice seasoning to give it a tiny bit of kick. And when we pulled it out we just toasted the skin a little bit with our sears all attachment on the blowtorch this thing is looking killer my guys there's only one thing really left to do right the glaze is good i'll tell you that right now all right let's get a piece of this breast look at this thing look how juicy it is it's so succulent you can literally see the juice coming right out of it Mmm, dude. It is so tender. It is so moist. It's like the ultimate chicken thigh. It's like everything good about a chicken thigh and then some. Guys, step your game up, dude. Get wild. Don't be afraid of the don't be afraid of the duck. You know? Let your nuts hang. On some duck. If you like this video, if you learned something. Skullandmortar.com, Skull and Mortar everywhere. Hit a subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment, help us out. All that stuff is free. I'll see you guys next week, I would suppose, with a brand new video. I can't try it and not. I just I just put it in my mouth sultry like with my tongue. That's it. That's the end of it. So after we get you looking dope as possible in your Skull and Mortar t-shirt. We gotta get to the cooking. We might as well get that food tasting fly as possible with your Beach Bum Barbecue Rub made exclusively by Skull & Mortar. It's award winning. It's gonna take your food from the top to, from the bottom to the top. And after we sauce you up, we might as well rub you up, my friends, with that Skull & Mortar Rub. That's right, don't be a pervert. We're not talking about that kind of rub up, my friend. We're talking about the rub that you put on your meat. Again, come on, dude. Have some class. Put this on your chicken, your pork, your beef, your fish. It doesn't matter, you can put it on anything. If you can find something you can't put it on, shoot me a DM because you'll literally blow my own mind. Check it out now at skullandmortar.com.